Dear cadets, Assalamu alaikum and good morning. I welcome you to my online class. I am Shafina Rahat. I am an assistant professor of English of Borishal Cadet College. Cadets, see this picture. What is it? Yes, you have rightly guessed. It is Statue of Liberty. So, from the picture, you can understand what topic I'm going to teach you today. Today I will conduct a class in class nine. Subject is English first paper. Topic is Statue of Liberty. Learning outcome. At the end of the session, cadets will be able to listen for specific information, read and understand texts, ask and answer questions, describe a place. Cadets, see the Statue of Liberty from different angle. This is first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and the last one. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed the picture of Statue of Liberty. Now, for your better understanding, I have given the text on the slide. Let's go through it. The French sculptor, Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi was assigned to design and complete a sculpture, Liberty Enlightening the World within 1876 so that it could be a gift for the Americans on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of the American Declaration of Independence. The statue was a giant venture between the USA and France. The French people would build the statue and assemble it in the states and the people of the USA were to build the pedestal for the statue. Raising money for the pedestal was completed in August 1885. The construction of the pedestal was finished in April 1886. In the meantime, France completed the statue in July 1884. They sent it to New York on board the ship, on board the French warship Isari in 1885. While transporting the statue, it was split up into 350 pieces and packed in 214 crates. It took four months to put the statue together and place it on the pedestal. Thousands of people saw the unveiling ceremony of the Statue of Liberty on 28 October 1886. It was a centennial gift 10 years late. The freedom that the statue stands for is not stationary. The broken chain wrapped around her feet sticking out from the bottom of her robe symbolizes her free forward movement, enlightening the world with her torch, free from oppression and slavery. The statue's original torch was the first part constructed in 1876. It was replaced by a new copper torch covered in 240-24K gold live in 1984. The torch is lighted by floodlight at night. The original torch is currently located in the lobby of the monument. Access to the torch has been closed in 1916. From 28 October 2011, on her 125th anniversary, the Statue of Liberty was also named Liberty Enlightening the World Wide Web. The credit goes to a series of new web camps located around her torch. Several amazing views will be just a 
click of a mouse away. On clear days, three cameras provide unobstructed views of screens far and near. Two cameras provide an ultra-wide angle interactive view of the famous golden torch. The remaining camera looks downwards towards the crown of the Statue of Liberty, her face, and the tablet she is holding. So a person can have access to the webcams, live feed of the Statue of Liberty from anywhere in the world. So this was the text cadets. You have learned so many information from the text. Now there are some new words in the passage. We will go through it. Vocabulary. First one, sculpture. Sculptor means a person who makes sculpture. Sculpture means statue. Assemble means bring together. Pedestal means base. Crate means wooden container. Unveiling means uncovering. And the last one, centennial means the 100th anniversary of an event. Cadets, now we will learn five MCQ. First one, the unveiling ceremony of Statue of Liberty took place in April 1886, October 1886, October 1885, November 1885. The answer is October 1886. Next one, the Statue of Liberty stands for strength and vigor, struggle and enslavement, freedom and enlightenment, forward movement and competition. Cadets, the correct answer is freedom and enlightenment. Number three, the Statue of Liberty was sent to America by air, by road, by ship, by train. The correct answer is by ship. Number four, Putting the statue together took place, uh, took four months, four years, four centuries, four days. Correct answer is four months. Number five, the Statue of Liberty symbolizes American war, movement, oppression, independence. Cadet, the correct answer is independence. Now there are some questions. Let's get the answer. Question number one. Why is 28 October a special day? 28 October is a special day because on this day the Statue of Liberty was first presented before the public. Hundreds of thousands of people watched the unveiling ceremony with awe and amazement. Question number two, what were the conditions of the joint venture? There were two tasks, the building and assembling of the statue and the construction of the pedestal. The jobs were done under following conditions that the French people would build the statue and assemble it in the States while the people of the USA were to build the pedestal for the statue. Question number three, describe how the freedom of the statue is not stationary. The way the statue stands shows that the freedom of the statue is not stationary. The statue is always on her onward march, breaking the shackles of slavery and suppression. None can stop her forward movement. This is portrayed through tense that entangle her feet, peeping from beneath her gown. She thus stands for enlightenment and progressive stride. Question number four. How does the torch work at night? 
the torch is lighted by the floodlight at night question number 5 when did the statue get a new name what was the name on her 125th anniversary on 28 october 2011 the statue received the title liberty enlightening the world wide web a series of new webcams placed around her torch are credited for the for this beauty now there is a gathering activity carrots uh, it is for you and uh, you fill in the gap then i will give you the answer frederick august bartholdi was a french sculptor he was given the great task of making a statue to give it to americans as a gift on the occasion of celebrating 100 years of american declaration of independence it was decided that the french people would build the statue and the american people would build the pedestal the american started to raise money for building the pedestal they took almost one year to complete the building of the pedestal now cadets see the uh, answer and match whether your answer is correct or not okay cadets i hope you have rightly fill in the gap it is enough for today cadets um, now ho your homework write a paragraph on the statue of liberty cadets due to corona pandemic be careful wear mask when you go outside wash your hand properly stay home and stay safe thank you